Hello fellow drone nerds, thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kearns and today we're going to be going over the newest payload for the M300, the H20N. Alright, let's dive in. So the H20N, where does this fit in DJI's enterprise thermal capable products? So first we have to look at the three different drones that really fit in the enterprise lineup. At the bottom entry level at first you have the M3T and that's the Mavic 3 thermal. And then you have the M30T which is the deployable version of the M300. And then yes, you have the M300 that has the multiple different payloads that you can add to it. And in the M300, in those payloads, in the thermal products, you have the H20 series. Now the first H20 series is the H20, which is simply just a laser rangefinder wide and an optical zoom. And then you have the H20T, which is the same, but with a thermal capable product on there, which is the 640 by 512 thermal camera on there. And then you have the H20N. To better understand the H20N, it's good to look at the two differences between the H20T and the H20N, as they're very similar, but yet nearly completely different. As you can see, when you're looking at the two different products, you can see that the H20N actually has not one, but two thermal cameras on there. The H20T has one thermal camera at 640 by 512, and the H20N has two, and each of these are 640 by 512. One is going to be the wide lens and one is going to be a telephoto lens with 32 optical zoom. So the H20T has a zoom camera of 20 megapixels and then has a wide camera of 12 megapixels. It then also has a thermal camera of 640 by 512. And then you look at the H20N and the H20N has a wide camera of two megapixels and a zoom camera of four megapixels and then has two different thermal cameras. Now, when, when we're talking about megapixels, that sounds almost like we're like off and like we're going back in time as this is the newer product. However, again, that is what the N is for, the nighttime, which DJI has put real work into these products to develop a, as they're calling, starlight sensors. So with the starlight sensors of the H20N, you're able to see greater in nighttime. And DJI's tagline is vision into darkness. So the concept is, the fewer the pixels are in a given sensor area, the larger those megapixels are. In that, it allows more light to come into the sensor, producing a much brighter image. The H20N is designed to match up with the robust capabilities of the M300. It has an IP rating of 44 and can operate in temperatures down to negative 20. The H20N shares a lot of the same smart features as the H20 series and the M300 can provide. Laser rangefinder, synchronized zoom on the controller, the ability to drop a pin and return, the one tap panoramic photo, high res grid photography, and smart scene enhancement. These are just some of the key features that H20N can provide. DJI designed the H20N for public safety and search and rescue. There's lots of use cases for the product, but really that's gonna be its bread and butter. The design of those starlight sensors and the dual uh, 640 by 512 thermal sensors, it is wonderful for public safety. Hey folks, thanks for joining us today on an overview of the H20N. If this product fits the, the needs of your organization, or hey, if you have any questions you would like to ask a little further about the product, please reach out to one of our experts at experts at dronenerds.com. Otherwise, hey, have a great rest of the day. Take care. See ya.